Okay guys, so I've got a shipment here of new LEDs. New LEDs for my new rack. So I thought I'd do a little bit of an unboxing of um, the new gear that I bought for the fish room. I'm really excited to get this stuff because I've had the new rack set up for a couple months now with no lights on it. And uh, it's been killing me that I haven't pulled my finger out to get some new LEDs for it. So I pulled the trigger the other day on some four foot LEDs. So these will span across two tanks each. So far they look exactly like the ones I already have. Um, in that, in the pack, in the shipping uh, boxes that I got last time for the old rack that I have was the LEDs, some uh, foam on either end and the transformer was actually in this little box like this. So the LEDs that I've got now make like a blue kind of light, uh, a blue cast of light in the room and uh, these on eBay seem to be a little bit different from the picture However, the way they're packaged seems to be exactly the same. Now, they all might come out of the same warehouse um, in China, but uh, the LED globes seem to be in a different orientation than the ones I have in the fish room already. Now, I can see, now these are pretty cheap off eBay, but I can see, and I'm not sure if it will come up on camera, there's like a piece of um, heat wrap from some wiring that's loose in the unit. Okay, so here's the second unit, and it's got the same piece of the heat shrink that they use to cover um, electrical wiring um, in the unit. So you can see the transformer isn't that large. They're actually very light. Uh, my cousin, who has a fish room as well, has bought um, similar lighting units, LED lighting units on eBay. And the transformers are actually like the big square transformers. And I was expecting something similar like that with these, but I guess they're making them as cheap as possible now. The initial cost was gonna be over $400. But eBay had a special deal going, and I took full advantage of that. And I saved about $70 overall for us, over the cost of the entire purchase. So um, I got very lucky with that, and that's why I jumped at the opportunity because every other seller was selling these units for over seventy dollars a unit. So basically, yeah, got them for just over fifty dollars a unit. I've got eight units. They've lasted about just under a year so far, and they're still going strong. Touch wood. My cousin bought a unit that was two years old that came with a fish tank, and that unit lasted him about another four years. So he got about six years of life out of one unit. Similar. Uh, designed to these just your cheapo eBay ones. These are unbranded. There's no actual brand on them. They're PVC. This is PVC, black PVC. It's all plastic. Um, the only middle part is the legs that expand out to fit your specific aquarium size, which is another reason these are great. If you've got multiple tanks and you're running these across multiple tanks, you can make fit these legs to the specific requirements of your tanks. Now this one does have a little bit of a loose piece of rubber inside the unit over here. It's very hard to pick up on the camera, but it's jiggling around. Um, so there's a little quality control thing. Okay, so we've got one more box to open. Okay, this one doesn't have any loose parts inside the unit. They come with two switches. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera from my angle, but one is blue light, just the blue LEDs. So they call it a moonlight setting. Never use that and just ne don't find a need for it. The other one's the full spectrum. So every single LED on in the aquarium. So that's all six units unpacked. Each LED is numbered and labeled. And you got the resistors on there labeled as well. So it's a nice board. So it really matches the entire unit. And there's a little bit at the end where you've got some cabling running from the board to the switch and the um, power adapter in, um, socket. I'm gonna test each unit and test each of these plugs on the units rather than using one plug for each unit. Okay guys, here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna put all of them on the blue setting first. So let's see if they work. Oh. I should turn the power on from the wall. Fire out, that scared me. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, so we've got two LEDs in the center, and then we've got five LEDs on either side of that. So let's look at a little purple on the camera. Let me see if I can adjust it to what I'm seeing. It's very hard to get the white balance correct because that's making it look dimmer rather than bluer. So I might leave it at that setting. So just for the camera gurus out there, the camera nerds, I'm shooting at 125th a second, 2.8 aperture and an ISO of 800. So let's see this blue one. Bingo. They're all on. This one, the blue, they're all on. Beautiful. 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 Alright, they're all on. Let's see how it looks on the camera. There you go. Looks pretty crazy. Looks like I've got a runway landing lights in my house. Okay, now let's switch them over to the full spectrum. Wow. It's very bright to my eye. So to get to the full spectrum, you've got to switch it back off and then over to the other side of the switch. Holy moly, that is bright. It's probably lucky I set the exposure lower on the camera. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. So you can see <laughs> how bright they are. I'm now shooting at 2,000th of a second with uh, aperture of 2.8 f2.8 and an ISO of 800 so I really don't need to shoot at ISO 800 um, that's pretty crazy how bright they are, they are blinding wow so I'm just going to go get one of my other units and put it on the table and see the difference see if there's a difference in brightness to units that have been running for um, maybe about 8 months compared to brand new units. Okay guys, so first off, the unit that's been running for about eight months, which has already been running on my chromes, is this one at the front. And these are the new units. So immediately you can see there is a difference there in the amount of LEDs that are on each unit. It also says full gain and then 2835. The other ones also say 2835. This says 96 LED, the others say 156 LED. This also says 1200 version 1, which refers again to the amount of millimeters in four foot. There's an obvious difference, the amount of LEDs. We're talking 156 with the new unit compared to 96 of the old unit. Now let's look at the transformers. Not much difference. They pretty much the same weight. The transformer in my left hand is the new one. Transformer in my right hand is the old one. This one's been on for about an hour in my fish room and it's pretty warm to the touch. Uh, the gauge, the cable, it's pretty thin, pretty thin cable. Both pretty much say the same thing on the back. So this output says 1.5 amps. This one says 1,200 1, milliamps. So this one's actually got a higher output than new um, adapter, which would make sense because there's more LEDs on the unit. So it would need a higher output. However, let's test them out and see how different they are. So we'll go to our blue setting first. There's 10 LEDs. We'll go to the blue setting on the new units. There's more LEDs, obviously. And there's more blue LEDs. So let's see how that looks like on the camera. Am I blinding you guys? So guys, this is at a shutter speed of 1 30th of a second, an aperture of f2.8 and an ISO of 800. I'm going to stop the exposure down. Yeah, so that's 200th of a second. So I'm going to convert these into the full spectrum mode now. So that's the old unit. And let's see how much it's changed over time. Has it dimmed out? So the one thing I can immediately notice, I'll just stop this down even further so you can see it, what I'm seeing. So that's at 1,000th of a second, f2.8 aperture and ISO of 800. So the immediate thing I can see is that the old unit has whiter LEDs than the new unit. The new unit, the white LEDs look yellower to me. Um, also the new unit has some pink LEDs, whereas the old unit does not. The old unit only has red LEDs. 
So the new unit has all the same colours as the old unit, just less blue and more white, but the new unit has an additional two LED, four LEDs which are pink. So you can see the new LED looks brighter, but that's probably because there's more of them, more LEDs in the unit, uh, as well as um, less blue LEDs. So let's put the rest on to full spectrum. There's the difference guys, wow, pretty bright. <laughs> so yeah, the one side of the fish room is gonna look different. Unfortunately, I didn't really want a different look, but we'll see what they look like once I put them on the fish tanks. So they're still gonna look fantastic uh, with the whole room lit up with um, nice sleek LED units. Okay guys, and here's the other bits of equipment that I purchased uh, for my project this weekend. So what we've got here, it's obviously some power boards and cords. Some power cords, extension leads. These are a little bit more expensive than your usual power boards and, and uh, extension cords, but because the stands are black, the most the majority of the silicon on those aquariums is black. The backgrounds are black. Uh, I want, and the lights are black as well. I want everything to be kind of hidden. I don't want to see power cords. I don't want to see the power boards. So I've gotten black power boards, for the lights um, and if I need heaters or additional filters on the aquariums I have the space on these boards to uh, include uh, them in the system in the future if I do need that um, so these come with a 1.8 meter cord these these outlets these these are power boards and these are five meter long extension cords to power these power boards from the stands these are going to be mounted in underneath the shelves and um, with uh, screws. You can mount them from the back with screws. And here's the stands currently, guys. You can see there's one uh, LED light unit lighting those two tanks there. Uh, that belongs on the stand behind me up here. So that will be getting moved today. And uh, I'm gonna get rid of this power cord this crappy looking power board, all the wires are gonna be hidden, it's gonna look a lot neater than it does right now. So uh, I'm gonna get the start on it now and mount the power boards and hopefully it looks a lot better. So guys, here's my old rack and here's the new rack, all lit up, all plugged in. Uh, it's very hard to show you both racks in the one frame, side by side. Uh, because this room is very narrow. And this is the widest angle lens I have on my DSLR. But yeah, I'm really happy with the outcome. Everything's plugged in. Got to do a little bit more cable management here to um, tidy these cords up. But yeah, really happy with the lights. So these tanks are ready to go for fish. Uh, you can see the color difference in these tanks. Um, basically it's due to uh, tannins in the water. The lights are exactly the same, it's just that there are tannins in the water from the driftwood in this tank and uh, the Indian anomalies in this tank. But yeah, I'm really happy with this look. The colour difference, uh, it's hard to see. It does look a little bit bluer on this side than this side, it looks more white on this side and I do prefer the whiter look. Uh, however, there are more globes in, the, in each LED unit uh, compared to this side. So that's not much of a surprise, but yeah, Pretty happy with how the fish room looks now. I wish I could get a better shot for you guys so you could see uh, in its full extent. But this is the widest angle lens I have. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how the fish room looks right now. It's amazing. I feel like I've got my own little aquarium shop. There you go, guys. I'll wrap this one up now. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.